How do you feel when you have a fresh cold wind blowing around you? It's so refreshing, right? So I also have to ask, what about hot or warm wind? These two types of wind or kinds of wind have different temperature level. For that matter, it's so refreshing when you have a cold wind and you feel so uncomfortable when there is a hot wind. Now, what happens when these two kinds or forms of wind come together or are present in our immediate surrounding? That's what we feel around us. It's a mixture of the cold wind and the warm wind. Stay here, we're going to talk about that. What actually happens when there is cold wind and hot wind clashing or meeting or present in our immediate surrounding or in our atmosphere. This is JCL Tutorials. So you're welcome back. Now, the presence of warm wind and cold wind in our atmosphere creates or leads to the formation of one uh, type of rainfall. Okay, this is called the cyclonic rainfall. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about the cyclonic rainfall and its formation. In my last video, we spoke about relief rainfall, where we have highland causing or the major feature causing the diversion of air into the atmosphere leading to what we call relief or orographic rainfall. Now here we'll be talking about something that has nothing to do with highlands. This time round it's just two different winds with different temperatures coming together or clashing and leading to the formation of one key type of rainfall. Now let's look at the features. So like I always tell you the features are important. When you are able to jot them down, you can tell um, how to put them together to form a very nice description before you support it with a diagram. So what are the features? If we're looking at... Cyclonic rainfall, as I've already mentioned, there is... Cold wind, there is warm wind, those that have not experienced warm wind before. If you have the air conditioner, you see the one they fix outside that actually blows um, the air with a fan inside. You realize that it produces a lot of what? warm wind. When the atmosphere is, the sun's heat is intense. Okay, the surrounding wind becomes what warm and you feel so uncomfortable. So there is warm wind. Now, as usual, we have our condensed clouds as one of the features, meaning it has to show or appear in your illustration or diagram. Then you have your rain. Now, when the cold wind and the warm wind meet or clash, that meeting point is giving a name. And that's what actually forms the name cyclonic. So that boundary or that border or that meeting point is referred to as a cyclone. Or where the wind, the warm wind fronts the cold wind, okay, the meeting point. So it's known as the cyclone or the front. Okay, now that we have these features, let's look at how cyclonic rainfall occurs or is formed. We we'll start with the diagram, and our description or explanation will go with it accordingly. So here, as usual, we are on the land. This is the crust. So we have the crust, okay, the earth surface where we live. Then 
there is I'm going to indicate with my coily lines a set of coily lines showing these arrows I'm going to label this as my rising warm wind. In the last video, I did say that when there is warm wind and cold wind, because the temperature is different, warm wind is always lighter than cold wind. So one will rise into the atmosphere, and the lighter one will rise into the atmosphere, and the denser one will sink. So always the cold wind sinks because it is denser than the warm wind. So we have a rising warm wind. They are going to form clouds because they turn into vapor. So we have a uh, condensed clouds as we view them they gradually form and become heavy and fall back as rain then on this side the set of coiling lines meeting with a rising warm wind this is my sinking cold wind so cold wind will sink okay so you can have this the meeting point you show it with a diagonal line the meeting point of the warm wind and the cold wind so this becomes the cyclone of the front so we have a cyclone or the front so these arrows should curve downwards to show or demonstrate that the cold wind is sinking. So when there is a clash between warm wind and cold wind, this is what happens. The wind that has the um, higher temperature, that is the, right, the, the warm wind rises because it is lighter than the cold wind. So this will rise into the atmosphere and form part of the clouds and fall back as rain. Because when the cloud is condensed, we we'll have our rain. So this is showing the rains those arrows coming down from the clouds okay so we have our cyclone we have our sinking cold wind and we have our rising warm wind it's a simple demonstration of how a cyclonic rainfall is formed and because of that it is also referred to as frontal rainfall frontal rainfall so we can have it here frontal rainfall so the boundary between the uh, rising warm wind and the sinking cold wind is the cyclone or the front always take note of that that's a meeting point okay so this always occurs when you go to places where we don't have mountains yes we still have um, a type of rain that will fall in that area probably the intense sun heat is going to cause the wind to become warm or hot and when that happens the cold wind also present in the atmosphere will um, meet with that warm wind and the clash will lead one or cause one to rise into the atmosphere and this is what leads to cyclonic rainfall very simple compared to the 
relief rainfall. They are all simple. So when you get these explanations, write them down, put the words together, and then you indicate or illustrate it with a very nice diagram. Make sure your arrows are clearly uh, drawn, showing that one wing is rising and the other is sinking. I believe this particular lesson helps a lot. And you can see the difference between the relief rainfall and the cyclonic rainfall. I'll be coming your way with a third type of rainfall in another session. For now, keep watching GCL tutorials. I'll meet you again. Bye.